let us continue our discussion on spinal cord ependymomas we will answer an important question what are the survival rates after you treat a spinal cord ependymoma so what are the survival rates of spinal cord ependymoma i am dr kalyan i am a neurosurgeon and spine surgeon i work in hyderabad in aved glenagill's global hospital a brief introduction this is an example of spinal cord ependymoma this is one of the most common tumor of the spinal cord accounting for 40 to 60% of the tumors in adults and around 30% of spinal cord tumors in children they are intramedullary tumors that arise within from the ependymal cells with, which are there within the central canal of the spinal cord so this is an example of ependymoma in the cervical ridge why should we know what is the importance of knowing the survival rates understanding the survival rates for spinal cord ependymoma can provide insight into the prognosis and the outcomes associated with this condition but make a note survival survival rates are statistical estimates and individual outcomes may vary so what are the important factors affecting cervical survival rates one is the tumor grade this is the most important factor affecting the survival rate but equally important is the surgical resectability third one is the size of the tumor i have not mentioned in the side in the slide but size of the tumor also matters and fourth one is the patient health and age how does tumor grade affect the survival rate let's think about the grade of the spinal cord ependymoma is a significant factor affecting the survival survival rates grade 1 ependymomas are typically considered benign and they have a more favorable prognosis compared to grade 2 or grade 3 ependymomas the surgical resectability the extent of surgical resection or the complete removal of the tumor can can impact survival rates higher rates of complete surgical resection are associated with better outcomes patient age and overall health can also impact survival rates with younger and healthier patients generally having a better prognosis size of the tumor the smaller the size of the tumor it's easier to excise it completely and so a better outcome a tumor which is spanning a larger segment of the spinal cord typically will have a worse outcome so let us come to each grade of tumor so what are the cervical rates for a tumor for a patient who has grade 1 tumor grade 1 ependymomas are considered benign and they have a relatively favorable prognosis the 5 year survival rate for grade 1 spinal cord ependymoma with complete surgical resection is reported to be 80 to 90% but other factors such as tumor location and patient specific factors may also influence survival rates in individual cases grade 2 and grade 3 grade 2 are intermediate grade tumor while grade 3 ependymomas are considered malignant they have the worse outcome they are cancerous the 5 year survival survival rate for grade 2 spinal cord ependymomas may range from 60 to 80% with complete surgical resection the 5 year survival survival rate for grade 3 spinal cord ependymomas may range from 30 to 60% even with aggressive treatment again other factors play a role so conclusion the spinal cord ependymoma generally have a relatively favorable outcome compared to other spinal cord tumors like astrocytomas ependymomas have a relatively favorable outcome factors such as tumor grade extent of surgical resection and patient specific factors can impact survival survival rates follow this one earlier earlier diagnosis at a lower grade a smaller size and a prompt surgical treatment 
to achieve safe maximal excision. They give the best outcome and more than 80 to 90 percent survival rate. It's crucial to consult a, a qualified healthcare professional for accurate, for accurate prognosis. Regular follow-up and monitoring are important for detecting any signs of recurrence or complications. As I keep on telling in each and every presentation of mine, it is very important to closely work with a qualified healthcare team for accurate prognosis, treatment, and management of spinal cord ependymoma or any other medical condition. This PowerPoint presentation provides a general overview and should not be considered as a medical advice. Thank you.